This is Pete, your Kenshin 1913, and I'm alone again, and it's kind of sad, but whatever. Anyways, today we're going to be making cherry dumplings. Alright, so some of the ingredients that we're going to need for the cherry dumplings are two cups of water. We're going to need a quart or four cups of cherries. I'm using the, my frozen cherries that I picked in the backyard. Uh, obviously, if you're watching this video now, cherries are in season, so... You can use fresh cherries. These are, um, <clears throat> these are, uh, what the hell are they? They are uh, sour cherries. They're good for baking. I've got a cup and a half of sugar. And then for the other things, we're just going to start. I'm just, this is going to be a little different today. We're going to do it a little differently because I'm riding solo. So we're going to start off with the dumpling mixture or the, uh, the berry mixture, and then we'll move on to the how to make the dumplings I'll give all the ingredients will be in the the uh, video description but I'm just going to show you the ingredients for the for the berry mix first so let's get going all right so first thing we want to do is we want to take our cherries and what we're going to do is put them inside this pan you want to have a sauce pan a nice a nice big sauce pan because we're going to be adding a lot a lot of goodness. Now there might be some leftover juice from if the regular cherries. Just dump it on in. <clears throat> so now we're going to add our two cups of water. Just like that. Now we're going to add our one and a half cups of sugar. So there we go. Now you're going to turn it on medium heat. And uh, let me get a big spoon here. And what you want to do is just stir this around. Get it all nice and settled like this. It's going to thicken, don't you worry. Uh, so what you want to do is let this cook until boil. But before we do that, we're going to actually make our dumplings for when this does come to a boil. So we can put them in here. One quick aside that I wanted to mention is this is our new kitty. Her name is Marshmallow. Hello, Marshmallow. Hi, Marshy. So yeah, she's our new kitten that we got. Our old cat, Miss Honey, passed away, sadly. But we got Marshmallow, and she's a baby. So let's get back to the dumplings, sorry. All right, so we have for our dumplings, we're going to need four tablespoons of milk. We're going to need one cup of Bisquick. Or you can use uh, all-purpose flour and a tablespoon of baking powder. But I'm not going to bother. So what we want to do, put in our flour or bisquick. We're going to add our milk. If you want, you could add a dash of salt. I'm not. I have butter here. Um, it's supposed to be uh, room temp, you know, softened butter. But uh, I kind of screwed that up. It's all right because that's all right it's gonna be delicious anyways it'll be easier to mix any any who's so just get all that butter and uh, yeah let's just put that there and so what we want to do yeah I'm not gonna add any salt because there's already salt in the butter you could add a pinch of salt so what you want to do is just break up the butter and get it going in the mixture to get these dumplings all mixed together so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna keep mixing them until they're in a certain consistency and then I'll show you what that consistency is and then um, we'll wait till it, uh, the the um, <coughs> cherries melt I mean yeah melt we'll wait until the cherries boil and then we're gonna put these in and then I'm gonna show you what you gotta do for the next thing make sure that your saucepan does have a top to it a cover because you're gonna need that that's gonna be very very important so I'll be right back all right uh, one other thing I forgot to mention was we want to use some almond extract just pour it in there uh, that's probably about a teaspoon and uh, yeah here's what our dough kind of looks like you should be easily you should easily be able to break it off you should still see some chunks of butter in there and uh, yeah, so you want to make sure to put some almond extract in there so that um, 
so that you can uh, you can get some cherry pie pie flavor in flavoring in there because that's one of the things that they do add to the cherries to make it taste a little more like cherry pie so yeah almond extract is one thing I forgot to mention but we add it it's almost boiling that's when we can add it so like I said you're gonna need something with a cover luckily mine is see-through and uh, what we can do with that is at least we can watch the, uh, the dumpling process happen now yeah, we can turn this up high all right we are back and as you can see it's boiling so what we want to do is what I like to do is kind of like form them into little balls and just just put them in there Pour, put the dumplings in don't discriminate where they go just throw them in you want to make uh, good sized dumplings uh, yeah well it really doesn't matter what size just try to get them everywhere in the middle in the middle on the sides here just kind of make a dumpling and just get all that good goodness here and I'm just getting the final scraps here now what you want to do now this is the most important step reduce your heat put this cover on top do not I repeat do not remove the cover keep it on a low heat let it cook for 20 to 30 minutes do not open it up to stir it do not do anything that's why I have the clear cover because at least you can if you want you can look inside but uh, basically you let these cook for 20 minutes I mean uh, 20 to 30 minutes preferably 30 minutes and then we'll open it up and we'll check out the insides but yeah do not open it do not mix it just let them cook trust me it's gonna be delicious so we'll be back in about 30 minutes all right here we are there it is cherries and dumplings as you can see it's been well I mean you, you can't tell but it's been a, over a half hour as you can see the cherries and dumplings they are done I'm gonna actually plate one up real quick and show you what you can uh, you can put uh, ice cream on top but I want to show you the consistency I have no more big spoons so I'm just gonna have to uh, yeah, I have a big spoon all right so I'm gonna show you the consistency of everything it's still a little liquidy but yeah it is kind of liquidy but that's what you kind of want I mean you do want a little bit of liquid because you're gonna pour it over that dumpling and as it as it uh, cools down it will get a little thicker but right now it's kind of hot so I'm gonna take a I'm gonna get a little bit of vanilla ice cream put it on top and then we're gonna eat it all right here I am back as you can see here's our cherry dumpling yummy I didn't have any vanilla ice cream so gonna make do with just it being plain now once again these are sour cherries so uh, they're great for baking mmm so a little bit hot the dumplings are very soft and Tender, they really absorb the uh, the juice really well. You break them up and then um, let them sit for a minute. But yeah, nice and delicious. So before we end, I just want to hold myself out for a quick second. Kenshin 19 third cooking with Kenshin 19 13 aprons at Etsy. Links in the video description. And I started a Patreon account. If you want to support the cooking videos or let's play videos, you can do that. The link will be in the video below. And uh, thanks a lot. This has been Pete, and this has been another cooking with Kenshin 1913. And as my mom would say, enjoy and happy eating. Bye bye.